15th, and right after that, they came out with a Google Hangout on the 15th prior to this one. So this is the hashtag that we would love for all of you to use. That's hashtag cardboard porn. Uh, the senator did do a Google Town Hall or a Google Hangout, which was very restricted, measured questions, and hand-picked responses. So we're here to hold our senator accountable whether he's here or not. The topic of today, number one, is Obamacare, but there are a lot of things going on, and I'm sure you all have questions, and we're going to answer those questions for you uh, to the best of our abilities. Let me introduce today's panel. We have Whitney Neal. She's the grassroots director of Freedom Works, who helps us put all this together, so let's give Whitney a big hand. Grant Stinsville, conservative talk show host. All right. We have Kenan Anderson, attorney and founder of the grassrootstechsins.net. And Lawrence Jones, who's a student, one of the youngest of us up here. Okay, before we start, I just wanted to sort of point out why we're here. Because, and like I said, they're watching us. Sometimes we have to let them know that we know what we're talking about. Because they only want us to know what they want us to know. So... We have to defund Obamacare now. Yay! Yesterday! I'm going to read a list of items for you that will cause so much damage to this country. Obamacare will reduce the labor force by 800,000 people over the next decade. 41% of small business owners have delayed plans to hire new employees. 71% of small business owners say Obamacare makes it harder to hire workers. As of July 2013, 8.2 million Americans are working part-time. 77% of positions added to the workforce have been part-time. And Obamacare takes more than a trillion dollars out of the private economy through 20 new increased taxes. The CBO estimates a loss of employer-sponsored coverage for 7 million people. And according to another estimate from the CBO, as many as 35 million Americans could lose their current employer uh, insurance. And 30% of employers reported they would definitely or probably stop offering that insurance from January 2014. So... This already in the works, premiums have increased by $3,000. 80% of Americans aged 21 to 29 are earning more than $16,000, will pay more out-of-pocket coverage than they do today. Wait times in the emergency room will increase. 50% of physicians are cutting back on patients. And the CBO projects that even after Obamacare is implemented, 31 million Americans will still be uninsured. Now, the Constitution grants Congress the power of the purse. And this serves as the most important checks and balances ever. James Madison described this power in the Federalist Number 58, if you'd like to send that to your representative. <laughs> and it says, this power over the purse may, in fact, be regarded as the most complete and effectual weapon with which any Constitution can arm the immediate representative of the people for obtaining a redress of every grievance and for carrying into effect every just and salutary measure. So that's why we're here today, because we have one of the largest majorities of Republicans in the House of Representatives, and we have essentially zero checks and balances on this administration. In fact, one of the reasons why we're holding this event right here is because of John Cornyn, who's in the leadership of the Senate, and also, Congressman Pete Sessions, who's in the leadership of the House, who just this last March imposed a closed rule that prevented defunding of Obamacare this year already. Boo! Okay. Go home, Pete. So this is why we're here, folks. I'm going to turn it over to Whitney, and uh, we're going to get started with what we're doing. Actually, I'm going to turn it over to Ken. I'm sorry. Ken's going to tell you a little story and introduce our senator for us today. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Katrina. 